folks. Hello, folks of the world. I am speaking to you using the new aluminum cone voice projector. I'll start my comeback with a new trick taught to me by an one-legged sailor who did toffee apple impressions for Noel Coward. Do you hear that? That's it, folks. It's the new Grateful Dead Seagoon sound. I will now reveal the secret to the world. I, via satellite, from Neeson. Take the index finger, stick it in the gob, slide gently forward inside the cheek, giving it an added impetus as it shoots forward from the lips. So. You see? We directors of Harlick Television are not as daft as you think. During that demonstration of Mr. Seacombe's senility, a smile, a song, and a wheelchair. The remains of Mr. Spike Meeleekner, the well-known typing error, have been reassembled and he makes this sound. Policemen are numbered in case they get lost. I say, Howley, anyone with a name like Hitler can't be all that bad. Here, iced, another. Fine mess you half got us into, Stanley. As everybody knows, who reads the Isle of Aaron Shoemaker's Monthly, Her Majesty the Queen, was to have opened this goon show. But owing to a nasty rumor called, Grosser Heath, she has declined. However, at short notice and wearing a floral cretonne frock, Mr. Seacomer has agreed to stand in for the Sovereign. Ladies and gentlemen, my first impression for the Queen will be a hedgehog doing acupuncture on Yule Brenner's nut. Ooh oh 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 oh. Get on. Please. Hurry. Get on with it. What 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 what? Start the show. Hurry. Hurry why? We were dying. What was that? Men. Men. Falling to bits. She's a loose woman you know. Quick, throw a bucket of water over her before the season starts. And now, ladies and gentlemen, my husband and I have great pleasure in starting Oon Show number 161. Oh, my husband and I have great pleasure in starting this Oon Show number 161. Hello, hello, hello. Ah. A constable of old England, played by an aging Peter Sellers. I'm sorry sir you can not park that huge, bloated Welsh body there. Watch it Ros, sir. I have been watching it sir, and it gives me no pleasure. There's not many people know that. What is your name sir? Harry Seacombe. What a splendid memory you've got sir. Now then, sir, would you like to explain why you are wearing a flowered Triton frock? Explain? Yes. Haven't you read the court circular? No, I'm waiting till they make the film of the book a sketch of the play. Now listen, constable. Yes. I am dressed like this because I have been asked to represent Her Majesty, the Queen. Oh, I'm sorry, your queen. My refund for apologies. It's too late for that. But, it is only half past five. We're having difficulty starting this oon show. Well, let's have a look in the tonk then. Tonk? Ah, I see you still got the same type as you had in 1953. Yes, I still have her. No one's found out yet. 
Oh, yes, here's the trouble, your queen. There's no jokes in the fuel tank. I'll just shout a few in. I say, I say, I say. Why to say? How do you start a pudding race? I don't know. How do you start a pudding race? Say. Go. Help someone? Get me out of here. I say, I say. Can a lady with a wooden leg change a pound note? Can a lady with a wooden leg change a pound note? Yes. No, she can't. And why not? Altogether, folks. She's only got half a nigger. The plague hit London in 1546 and has been here ever since. Now, Mrs. Dale's last husband, Ray Ellington.